Men's winter boots. We know how difficult it's to choose boots at a reasonable price. And it's even more difficult to combine frost resistance with to attractive appearance. We've made it easy, we've checked insulation and sole types, and we've studied and trends. Watch our winter boot stop in this video and buy from the links below. We've already taken care of everything. We've arranged the boots in ascending frost resistance from minus 5 to minus 30 degrees Celsius. Chaka boots. The name Chaka possibly comes from the game of Polo, where a chuka is a period of play, conciseness and comfort. That's what they say about this model. The boots features are leather base and the laces. The sole is made of leather, rubber or tunit. Even fashionistas confuse checkers with desert boots. They are like twin brothers, but there's one difference between them. Desert boots are made of suede, and checkers are made of leather. Don't forget this when you will be choosing boots for winter. If you buy a model made of suede, they'll absorb snow and slush like a sponge. And there's no talk about the reagents from the roads that remain on a rail boots surface in the form of white spots. Chaka boots were designed for soldiers. It's easy to move around wearing them, and the lacing allows you to change boots quickly in emergency situations. It's an option for people who prefer the classic or casual style. We recommend wearing chakas so that the pants cover the top of the shoes. If necessary, we can tuck your jeans into your shoes a bit, just like Zac Efron does. The average price for such a model starts from 95 USD. To make the investment pay off, pay attention to the upper part of the shoes and sole stitching. Natural leather is worn for a long time. The sole connected to the base with no glue is what you need. Take a look of the Goodyear technology. It's a method of fastening without seams. A fur lining inside your shoes will save you from the cold. With warm socks and wearing chakas, you can withstand temperatures down to minus 5 to minus 10 degrees Celsius. The model will be useful for men moving by car. If you're planning a walk on small distances, then feel free to choose chaka boots. However, they won't protect from bitterly cold weather. Winter sneakers. If mobility is important to you, then sneakers are a good option. They are suitable for car drivers and people who are engaged in sport during the cold season. However, the choice of a warm pair is a roulette game. On sales, there's a bunch of options for all tastes and colors, and it'll be a problem to pick out frost-resistant sneakers. Remember the following tricks and enjoy the warmth even when the temperature goes low. The winter sneakers sole acts as a protector. It doesn't let the shoes slide. Choose a cleated sole pattern with a rare arrangement of studs and details, thus you won't surf when you walk on ice or snow. Another winter sneakers fabrication mistake is their insulation. Read the labels carefully. If you see the words heat sick insulation, then buy the boots. This insulation type makes the most frost-resistant shoes in the world. Among reasonable price sneakers, choose ones indicated with Primaloft, which are synthetic insulation that doesn't lose its properties when the boots get wet. When shopping for sneakers, don't forget about the extra details. Stock up on long, warm socks and insoles to make your boots pay even more frost-resistant. The last aspect that would please the residents of wet and rainy places is the waterproofing on the top cover. It'll help when walking in snow and rain. The package is often tucked as waterproof. The average price of warm winter sneakers starts at 180 USD. Take into account the tips mentioned above. They'll help you to choose a pair with frost resistance up to minus 10 degrees Celsius. It's easy for athletes to create the image with winter sneakers. Just put on a warm jacket and jogger pants and go for a run. Fashionistas have a harder time because the boots aren't high and walking with lapels and bare ankles in bitter cold is like suicide. Stylists took care of you and offered a trendy option, a combination with higher socks. If you wear sneakers to work, then choose dim colored models. When you want to add some accents and brightness, then took a colorful models. Prints, inscriptions and logos are just what you need. Bright socks and sneakers will go with a classic coat, down jacket and any outerwear. Jodhpur and Chelsea boots. The story of these boots started more than two centuries ago. British military men, being at the races in the Indian city of Jodhpur, noticed the uniforms of local riders. 
Later the classic shoes with hard soles and several straps in the upper part of the shoes moved into the outfits of Londoners. Jodhpurs were reincarnated into Chelsea boots. They look the same, but the latter have elastic sided design. Jodhpur and Chelsea boots are suitable for men who travel by car or comply with the dress code. They also look good in casual style with casual jeans. The average price starts from 81 USD. The frost resistance is up to minus 10 to minus 15 degrees. Hiking boots. They are a future of everyday style due to their convenience and comfort. They were originally worn by tourists and people overcoming long distances on difficult terrain. A combination of leather and nylon inserts is practical for these boots. Don't buy sweat or new books since they won't protect from rain and wind. Take a closer look at the amount of insulation. 200 grams per pair is normal. If you buy a pair of boots with 400 grams of insulation, you'll find that your feet sweat. Opt for frost-resistant insulators. They insulate and synthetic. There's an unspoken rule for hiking boots. The Vibram rubber outsole. It doesn't rub off, lets the foot breathe and protects against the cold. Choose waterproof boots, so it'll be comfortable to walk even in slushy weather. Another bonus – these boots are suitable for traveling to ski resorts. Hiking boots are perfect for people who are used to frequent outdoor walks. Young dads walking with their children, delivery men, street musicians, etc. They are easy to stand in minus 20 degrees temperatures for more than an hour and not freeze. But don't even think about wearing these boots to work at the office and on dates. You will look just ridiculous. It's better to wear these boots with regular cut jeans. No rolling up. The jeans here are only to wear untucked. We'll leave the color and design up to you. The price starts from 122 USD. Work boots. It's a good outfit, suitable both for walking in harsh winter conditions and for complying stylish looks. The main feature is the absence of zippers, the only laces fixing the foot. Ankle mobility is preserved and the risk of damage during accession is minimized. Work boots are distinguished by a strong, durable sole and a comfortable base. They are easy to walk in even in freezing temperatures, since the special structure of the shoe shape will prevent you from slipping and protect you from heat. Quite often, work shoes are equipped with air conditioning lining, protecting from moisture outside and sweaty feet inside. A reasonable option for the upper part of these boots is Echo Leather. It's durable, flexible and breathable. It also has its disadvantages. They need careful maintenance and low frost resistance. Natural leather covering with transulate or hollow fiber insulation are the best combination for harsh winters. Take a closer look at the sole. Models with a molded heel will last longer, though they add weight to the product. A lower cost material is Thermo Elastoplast. It'll keep your feet warm. A mixture of rubber and rawhide buffalo leather indicates that the sole will last more than one year. Let's move on to the outfits. For casual style, we recommend combining work boots with jeans and casual clothes. The brutal model will suit the rolling up plus long monotone socks combination. Jacket, down jacket or coat, it doesn't really matter. We recommend wearing work boots for long walks or work. But if you are an office worker, it's better to choose chaka or jatpu boots. Work boots are suitable for a casual look with jeans and skinny pants. The main thing when buying winter work shoes is to find the right size. Order two pairs of nearby sizes online to try on. And choose the best fit when you get them. That's what you can do when shopping online. Quality warm insulated boots will winter temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. The price starts from 135 USD. How do I know if my shoes are frost resistant? You are looking at stylish on-trend boots, but you don't know what temperature to wear them at. Don't get puzzled. We've put together the frost resistance criteria. They'll help you not to get lost in the boots world and choose the right thing for winter. The upper material. Don't take suede boots for everyday wear. Sure, they're suitable for formal occasions, but not for walking in snow and slush. Go for to nylon, natural leather or EVA coating. An additional advantage is the waterproofing of vegetable or animal origin. The second option is more preferable – insulation. Hollow fiber can cope with temperatures as low as minus 25 degrees 
to insulate will deal with a cold snap down to minus 40. Fur or synthetic insulation is also good, but they won't protect your feet from the bitter cold. For temperatures no higher than minus 20 degrees, it's what you need. Another thing is the weight of the insulation. The best option is not more than 250 grams. The sole and its connection to the base. Stitching is the long-lasting equivalent of cheap glue. Choose models with Goodyear technology. The stud and tread should have large gaps. The heel needs to be molded. Fasteners and locks. Do away with zippers. It may let you down at the wrong moment. Laces are the solution for every occasion. Velcro is also unsuitable for winter boots. Remember, the higher the shoes are, the better they will protect your feet from wind and cold. Comment what kind of winter shoes you have. Like this video and watch the other ones on our channel. They are also about shoes and even more.